Hello and welcome. To solve this logarithmic equation, let us start with a very simple substitution. Let this first term, that is the square root of 1 plus log to the 0 0.04 of x be equal to d. Now, of course, you know that this comes with the condition that d must be greater than or equal to 0 because a square root must always be positive. Now, when we square both sides of this equation, we have that 1 plus log to the 0 0.04 of x is equal to d squared. And of course, when we subtract 1 from both sides of this equation, we have that log to the 0 0.04 of x is equal to d squared minus 1. Now let us look at the second term. We have the square root of 3 plus log to the 0 0.2 of x. What we are going to do is that we will change the base of this logarithm from 0 0.2 to 0 0.04. And of course, to do that, we are going to use the change of base formula. When we apply that formula to this term, we have the square root of 3 plus log to the 0 0.04 of x divided by log to the 0 0.04 of the old base, which is 0 0.2. Now, let us look at this denominator. Of course, you know that 0 0.04 is equal to 4 over 100, which is 1 over 25. And 0 0.2 is equal to 2 over 10, which is equal to 1 over 5. So log to be 0 0.04 of 0 0.2 is equal to log to base 1 over 25 of 1 over 5. And of course, this can also be written as log to base 1 over 25 of the square root of 1 over 25. Because of course, the square root of 1 over 25 is equal to 1 over 5. So we haven't changed anything. And this can also be written as log to base 1 over 25 of 1 over 25 to the power half because of this square root. Now, at this point, let us remember that log to base a of a to power b is equal to b. So, log to base 1 over 25 of 1 over 25 to the power half is equal to half. So that simply means that the value of this denominator is half. And then remember that when we divide by half, it is exactly the same thing as when we multiply by 2. So this term is going to be the square root of 3 plus 2 multiplied by log to base 0 0.04 of x. But now let us remember that log to base 0 0.04 of x in terms of d is g squared minus 1. So this is going to be the square root of 3 plus 2 times d squared minus 1. So now we can rewrite the original equation in terms of d as, remember, this is equal to d plus this, which we have to be this. 3 plus 2 times d squared minus 1 is equal to 1. Now let us subtract d from both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have that the square root of 3 plus 2 times d squared minus 1 is equal to 1 minus d. And of course, the next thing we are going to do is that we will square both sides of this equation. 
when we do that, we have that 3 plus 2 times d squared minus 1 is equal to 1 minus d squared. Now, let us open this bracket. When we do that, we have that 3 plus 2 times d squared minus 1 is equal to 1 squared is 1 minus 2 times 1 times d is 2d plus d squared. So from here we have 3 plus 2 times d squared is 2d squared. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 and this is equal to 1 minus 2d plus d squared. Now let us bring these three terms over to the left hand side. When we do that, this equation becomes 2d squared minus d squared. 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 plus 1. Then we have this coming over. Minus 1. Then we have this plus 2d. And this is equal to 0. 2d squared minus d squared is d squared plus 2d. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and this is equal to 0. Now we can factorize this equation. We have d into d squared divided by d is d. And 2d divided by d is 2. And this is equal to 0. And of course, you know that this simply means that either d is equal to 0 or d minus 2 is equal to 0. And of course, from here we have that, sorry, this is d plus 2 is equal to 0. And from here we have that d is equal to minus 2. But let us remember that d must be greater than or equal to 0. So, this value of d, which is negative, is unacceptable. So we take the value of d that is equal to 0. So finally, we have that d is equal to 0. But then, we remember that this is what we called d. So we have that the square root of 1 plus log to be 0 0.04 of x is equal to 0. When we square both sides of this equation, we have that 1 plus log to be 0 0.04 of x is equal to 0. And of course, when we subtract 1 from both sides of this equation, we have that log to be 0 0.04 of x is equal to minus 1. Now, remember that when we have a statement such as this, it simply means that 0 0.04 to the power minus 1 is equal to x. That is, x is equal to 0 0.04 to the power minus 1. But now, of course, we remember that 0 0.04 is 1 over 25 to the power minus 1. This simply means to take the reciprocal of what is inside the bracket. So this is equal to 25. So we have that the value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation is x equal to 25. Now let us check whether our answer is correct by substituting x equal to 25 into the original logarithmic equation. When we do that, we have the square root of 1 plus log to base 1 over 25 of 25 plus 3 plus log to base 1 over 5 of 25. Now here we have the square root of 1 plus log to base 1 over 25 of 1 over 25 to power minus 1. 
because 1 over 25 to power minus 1 is equal to 25. And here we have the square root of 3 plus log to this 1 over 5 of 1 over 5 to power minus 2. Because remember, 1 over 5 to power minus 2 is equal to 25. Now, of course, let us remember that log to base A of A to power B is equal to B. So log to base 1 over 25 of 1 over 25 to power minus 1 is simply equal to minus 1. While log to base 1 over 5 of 1 over 5 to power minus 2 is equal to minus 2. So here we have the square root of 1 minus 1 plus here we have the square root of 3 minus 2. Now 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and the square root of 0 is equal to 0. And 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 and the square root of 1 is equal to 1. And this is exactly what we have on the right hand side of the original equation. So the value of x that we calculated which is 25 actually satisfies the given logarithmic equation. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. It helps out greatly. Leave a comment if you have one and see you in the next video.